in today's operating system class we will see the multi level queue scheduling algorithm uh, from the cpu scheduling that is from second unit and in this class we will see the definition and the drawback of uh, multi level queue scheduling algorithm in our previous lecture we have seen different scheduling algorithm uh, for example first come first serve scheduling um, round robin scheduling shortest job first scheduling and priority scheduling so so many different scheduling algorithm we have already seen in our uh, previous lecture okay here all the processes are same type same type or similar type hence it required only one ready queue only one ready queue but if the processes are classified into different groups then the different scheduling algorithms required okay in that situation we can use the multi level queue scheduling algorithm that is the multi level scheduling algorithm has been created for situation in which processes are easily classified into different groups if the processes are classified into different groups then we cannot use the single queue single ready queue for the scheduling because the group of process may have different requirements so based on the requirement we have to create different different uh, ready queues okay here we can uh, have two different types of uh, processes first one is the foreground processes and this is created in the user level user level user level processes hence it is interactive processes because the user can interact with the processes very often right and second one is background processes which is otherwise called as kernel processes kernel processes hence it is a batch process right these two types of processes have different response time different response time requirement so may have different scheduling needs so if it is uh, the user level process then the scheduling algorithm may be different and if it is background processes then the scheduling algorithm is different so because they are having different requirements hence the algorithm should also be different here the foreground processes may have highest priority when compared to background processes because the foreground processes are user level process and background process are kernel level process because uh, the user can easily interact with the um, user level processes hence the user level process may have the highest priority okay when compared to kernel level process hence both the processes required a separate queue okay so for foreground we have to use separate queue for background we have to use separate queue for example for foreground queue we can use the round robin scheduling algorithm because we have to give equal priority for all the users okay user processes are available in this foreground queue hence we have to give equal priority for all the queues so we can use the round robin scheduling algorithm but when come to background queue here we can use first come first serve scheduling algorithm okay here the foreground uh, process may have highest priority when compared to background process in the multi level scheduling algorithm which divides the ready queue into several separate queues based on the properties of the process okay here in this diagram we are having three different ready queues all are called as ready queue all are called as ready queue the ready queue will be created based on the process memory size based on the process priority and based on the type of the process so based on the requirement the separate queue will be created and this will be uh, created based on the following parameters right the multi level queue scheduler defines the following parameter what are the parameter first one is number of queues how many number of queues are there in never scheduling algorithm okay based on the requirement the number of queues will be changed and second one is the scheduling algorithm for each queue so for each queue we can have separate scheduling algorithm see for this highest priority we can use first come first serve 
and second one we are having shortest job first and third one we are having round robin so based on the requirement we can select the separate scheduling algorithm for each the ready queue and third one the method used to determine which queue process will enter when the process needs services okay see when new process being created and the new process will goes to which type of queue isn't it so we we have to identify the method for selecting the corresponding queue okay and the fourth one is scheduling among the queues okay ppv is here and the scheduler should decide which process from which particular queue will be selected for next execution okay that may be either the first one or in the last one or in the middle okay so the scheduler will select the particular queue from any one of the particular process from any one of the queue for next execution okay so these four are important parameters for uh, generating the multi level queue okay first one is the number of queues and next one the scheduling algorithm for each queue and third one the method used to determine which queue process will enter when the process needs services and the fourth one is scheduling among the queues and now let us see how the scheduling among queues will be implemented okay see here we are having more number of ready queues and for all the ready queue we have to assign the priority priority okay this particular queue is having highest priority and this particular queue is the lowest priority okay so we have to fix the priority priority preemptive scheduling okay for example the foreground queue may be highest priority over the background queue okay so the foreground queue will be here the background queue will be here let us see one example with five uh, ready queues the first one is system process interactive process interactive editing process batch process and student process okay the order of priority this is the highest priority and this is the lowest priority okay the order is given likewise so based on the process type we have created five different queues five different ready queues okay here the highest priority will assign to system process that is the user level so based on the requirement the corresponding process will be assigned to each separate queues okay the next level process will be assigned to the interactive process and interactive editing process batch process and student process the lowest priority will be assigned to this student process and highest priority will be assigned to the system process and next highest is interactive likewise okay each queue has its own scheduling algorithm okay here the system process may have its own scheduling algorithm for example it may implement round robin scheduling algorithm okay the foreground queue might be scheduled by round robin algorithm while the background queue is scheduled by first come first serve scheduling algorithm for example we can take this batch process it may implement first come first serve scheduling algorithm and there must be uh, a scheduling among queues which is generally implemented by fixed priority preemptive scheduling okay for example suppose Uh, the cpu is here cpu want to execute any one of the process and uh, the priority will be assigned to all the different scheduling queues and the cpu will give first priority only for this particular queue and if if there is no process in system process then only the interactive process will be assigned for execution if there is no processes in system process and interactive process then only the interactive editing process uh, have a chance to execute in the cpu okay so for that only they are assigning the priority for all the queues as per our example the batch process will execute only if the queues of system process interactive process and interactive editing process 
all are empty suppose if the process is here uh, this process wanted to execute the cpu means then all these process should be empty then only the batch process will get chance to execute in the cpu okay while executing this particular process suppose any other process will come to interactive process then this batch process will be preempted okay first the cpu uh, first the scheduling algorithm will give priority only for this interactive process after completing this only again this batch process will get chance the another important concept of implementing multi level queue scheduling is time slice among the queue okay that means each queue that requires some portion of cpu time for executing its process uh, for example the foreground queue which we have already seen the foreground queue may required 80% of cpu time for implementing its round robin scheduling algorithm among its processes when come to background scheduling that is background queues it accepts the balanced 20% of cpu time for executing its process based on first come first serve algorithm so the time slice is also very important and that should be divided to all the uh, priority queues all the queues okay the drawbacks of multi level queue scheduling in multi level queue scheduling we assign a process to a queue and it remains in that same queue until the process is allowed to access the cpu okay that is the process do not move between the queues once we assign the process to a particular queue the process should be remain in that same queue until it executes in the cpu right that is as per our example the batch process that is the process which is assigned to batch queue do not suddenly change to the interactive process okay because the batch process is the kernel level process and the interactive process is user level process okay the queue scheduling also different okay suppose if we want to execute the batch process first and if some other process are there in the interactive queue this is not possible isn't it because the interactive queue will get highest priority over this batch process okay this is a very big drawback in multi level queue scheduling algorithm so that the another advancement of multi level queue scheduling is multi level feedback queue scheduling is introduced let us see the multi level feedback queue scheduling in the next class up to this we have seen the multi level queue scheduling algorithm under cpu scheduling and in this we have seen uh, the definition working principle and the drawback of multi level queue scheduling uh, students this is the question time how will you assign priority to multi level queues for scheduling uh, write your answer in the comment box thank you